This used to be virgin forest. Large parts of northeastern Brazil are covered by kachinga, shrubland and thorny trees, but much of it has been cut down. These two locals say their generation made a mistake when it undertook massive deforestation here. Frederico Gondim Carnero de Albuquerque says he feels partially responsible. This tree is typical of the area. It's called ironwood. It burns well and produces a lot of heat. That makes it popular for the brick industry, unfortunately. It was a serious mistake our generation made. We didn't know what the consequences of deforestation would be. But he wants to show us that those days are now over. He's doing things differently in his brick factory now. He produces one and a half million bricks a month. That takes a lot of energy. To heat his kilns, he uses various fuels. Wood chips account for 20% of his needs. They're a byproduct of furniture production. The other 80% comes from wood grown in sustainable forestry operations. That includes bamboo and eucalyptus. These woods burn well and help provide the high temperatures needed to fire bricks. By reducing carbon dioxide output, companies can sell emission certificates. That's been a boon for the brick factory. When I first heard about these emission certificates, I didn't really understand. I also didn't really believe in them. How should I prove that I was pumping less CO2 into the atmosphere? But over time, I've changed my mind. Although there was a lot of bureaucracy to deal with when I switched over. The factory earns about 100,000 US dollars a year from selling its certificates. That's a serious incentive. There are even companies that specialize in dealing in emission certificates. Cassandra Natras works for one of them. We know that there's no way to do that without financial incentive. Not for us, nor for the people who are involved in the carbon products. So the way that we've decided to do that is to talk with these projects that we're, we're, we, we co-develop and let them know that we're also not only getting them social gains, which is you know protecting the environment, um, investing socially in their community, but also a way to make it sustainable, which is investing in them. Brazil's young people are likely to bear the brunt of climate change. Some businesses have established reforestation programs to help. These seedlings were donated by the brick factory owner. But it's just a beginning if Brazilians want to make up for the mistakes of the past.